Hey filmmakers, Shongdi here. In this video, we're going to do a logo intro and this is with a PNG. It's similar to the slide in text, however, now with a image. So we have here already a sequence made and we're going to drag my logo, which is a PNG image over here. So it's a transparent image and I can drop like a video behind it. And you can see that it's transparent. not that big so you can see it's a transparent image let's drop down this opacity of this video behind it and we can also slow it down to make it extend longer and so we want to animate this logo sliding in and yeah just move it in it in without it uh, getting like from all the way from the side just slide in with it from a invisible uh, wall so we first are going to add a crop to this effect or to this image so go to effects type in crop drag this onto the PNG so now we have here the crop and we can move this and to crop it we just want to not crop it always kind of hard to see it um, so we can see here it's slightly cropping it and we can maybe drop this to 32 and here also from top just at 40 here on the other side so 31 or 32 And here from the bottom is probably also 40. Yep. So 40. So now every side has been cropped. And uh, if we are going to move it, move it here, where it's not going to work. We need to add a um, yeah transform effect onto here. So type in here transform. I'm going to drag this onto the PNG and we need to make sure that it's on the correct layer so we don't want the crop to be on top we want the crop to be on the bottom so if we go to transform here and move this text or this image around it will actually get cropped out so you can see here and we can also move it up and down And also we can add a motion blur with transform to make it more interesting. So just a simple left and right we can do and uh, let's do just an up and down out. So here we have it already in position and yeah, 15 frames from the start. So hold down shift and arrow to the right three times. One, two, three. Here we're going to add a keyframe by hitting toggle animation and also let's do one from the end so move this to the end hold down shift arrow to the left three times one two three hit this button to add a keyframe and now we can here slide this all the way to the left just when it is out of frame so when we now play it we can see it moves in however because it's a constant speed it's not that pretty we can go here and add a easy ease in now when we play it it's a slightly nicer move but personally I rather drag it myself because it's a more different look if you drag the bezier yourself it's more faster or you can see it slows down much of a nicer look than the standard ease in and now for the out we just want it to go down uh, yeah moving the timeline all the way down makes it always 
this annoying that it disappears so we want to be a few frames before it fully goes down because we can move the t uh, keyframe afterwards anyways so this we move down at position and move it when it just is out of frame and we can move this keyframe out and this keyframe we can change to ease out and we can also change this drag this out um, actually just the ease out was actually okay now we can also go here and add the motion blur so here we can change this turn this off change this to 180 degrees you can keep it bilinear and we can drag this out a little bit so we have like a few seconds without anything and then the logo comes in so now when we play it in full you can see the logo animation so that was mainly it hopefully you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon so you're always updated when i post a new video so i see you guys the next time bye bye